So this is uh, the Binance Chain Decentralized Exchange demo. Uh, so it's proof of concept. Uh, so there are going to be three parts to this uh, Dex demo. Uh, it's first is going to be the deposit wallet application, which is basically a DAP that is just a single HTML JavaScript file. Second thing is the decentralized node. Um, the DEX node, which sits on a Raspberry Pi. And third is the mobile application to do the security features of uh, signing transactions uh, to make trades without having to input your passphrase uh, into the DEX node. Uh, first thing is uh, I'll be going over the deposit wallet application. Uh, so this could be used to generate your accounts or it could be just used to log in to generate your uh, deposit addresses for your Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and Monero addresses. Uh, the way this works is, is uh, it uses a script algorithm to make it memory and time intensive on purpose to prevent uh, brute forcing during, during uh, account um, creation and logging in also. So currently I have it set at a uh, very fast uh, time to be able to log in for, for this demo so but it can be adjusted uh, the difficulty. Uh, so I'm logging in with AAAA which you can do also with this demo. So upon logging in uh, it generates a one, two, three, four, five uh, different addresses for Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, Monero, and then you have a Binance address also for the Binance chain. So for a user logging in uh, first, they would deposit Bitcoin into this um, application. So the user has access to their own private keys. And the user, all they have to do is uh, send Bitcoins or Ethereum or Litecoin to this address. Once the Bitcoins are confirmed, and it has been confirmed, there will be a button here where you can peg your real Bitcoins to the gateway, which will be controlled by Binance to to get issued your pegged bitcoins into your into your uh, uh, dex into your Binance account into your Binance dex account. Okay, so once you deposit, you're able to do some trading. So you could log in from here. So this wallet has a link to just a just uh, right now, currently, we have it set as going to the Raspberry Pi to to do the trading. So once I click that, it's this is basically the Binance Chain node, which is uh, the uh, basically a reskin of the Ardor platform. I changed up, I removed a lot of the front end stuff and add in a lot of the Binance graphics, and uh, changed up a lot of the addresses to make it uh, look like a, a real uh, Binance chain uh, platform. So upon uh, logging in onto the to the DEX node, which is basically this, uh, we log in. Okay. So once logged in, uh, we have a, currently we have a couple of other features, which I'll go over in a bit, but the thing that we want to show is the trading aspect. So currently, we have only listed Bitcoin and Ethereum as peg tokens on this platform. So right now, we're currently logged in and we are on the Binance BNB child chain, which you can trade BNB to Bitcoin. So we'll do that. So what I'm doing here 
I'm trading 5 Bitcoin for 10 BNB. So right here it asks for my passphrase, which I'm not going to enter. So we're going to go the route of using the mobile application to be able to sign transactions while uh, operating from the desktop application. So right now I'm building out the transaction data. So I will scan this QR code. This QR code has all the information about what you're trading, how much you're trading, and, and setting the fees and whatnot. So this application on the phone will scan the QR code and sign it with my passphrase, which is on the phone, and then it will broadcast it to the Raspberry Pi or some other public node uh, that's open ar around the world. Okay, sign. Okay, sign and broadcast. Okay, upon signing and broadcast, this is done and we should be able to see a transaction on the dashboard. Okay, so that is a one example of um, uh, making a trade with with uh, the mobile application and using the text note. Uh, next feature I want to uh, display and to talk about is the ability to do uh, KYC features. On, on this uh, Binance chain. So you might not be able to see exactly here. So on the wallet, clicking on the upper left corner, the account details. Uh, it will give us the account name. And also on the bottom, will be uh, account properties which will state either that it has been verified or not verified which can be set by Binance or some other third party uh, that would be done in a centralized manner but this gives the ability to restrict users from doing certain things on the chain let's say if you're doing ICO and they're not KYC level 3 verified for whatever country, uh, they will not have permission to purchase or, or um, purchase uh, coins in ICO or crowdfund a specific project. And the next feature I'd like to discuss is uh, there's in, in this Binance chain is a messaging uh, feature where you could actually send messages to accounts so which is very useful for customer service or making announcements to specific users uh, so this has its use cases and next thing uh, would be the crowdfunding feature of this it built also built onto the Binance chain is the ability to create projects where users can fund a project with the BNB coin and let's say they set a limit of um, I want to crowdfund uh, 10,000 BNB to do make some widgets for the for the decks uh, and but if it doesn't raise 10,000 the all the funds will actually get returned back to the users so in itself it has a built-in smart contract already into the system that actually has this feature. 
So the Binance chain will not have the ability to do smart contracts, but it has preset features like smart contracts that are able to 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 do these things. And the last part uh, I want to discuss is the is the Binance nodes. So let's see the, the Binance nodes. Will consist of uh, can be run off of a Raspberry Pi. It can be run off a Raspberry Pi. Uh, currently, the one I have is powered uh, through a USB uh, charger, just a USB battery pack, uh, and I have uh, programmed uh, simulation of some of these funds of what potentially can happen uh, once this is uh, on production running. So for for this uh, DEX node, what I have here is is that maybe these DEX nodes could be limited in quantity for each region around the world. So currently this is node 5 of 80 in the country Japan which belongs to the user Satoshi. So these would be made specifically in a centralized manner and distribu distributed to specific um, people. Think of it as uh, Bitmain uh, making mining uh, equipment. Binance would have the ability to make uh, kind of mining equipment, but a staking equipment. You're staking with your BNB coin to earn uh, more BNB and also support the network. So let's see. Next button press here. We could see the current uh, status is uh, currently staking with uh, 2,400 BNB coins, and fees earned so far is 129 BNB on this node. And another bonus feature which has uh, potential to increase uh, adoption in, in this uh, Binance chain DEX is having the ability to um, stake Bitcoin or Ethereum. So as if people, if, 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 if node operators were to uh, deposit Bitcoin into the node, into their account, as peg Bitcoin or peg Ethereum, which will show confidence of, of users uh, trusting the system, they should be rewarded with a bonus. So in this case, if they currently, Satoshi has deposited 8.67 Bitcoins into this node and 120 Ethereum. So they're receiving 2% and 4%, total 6% bonus to staking so let's say they, in the day they were they made two bnb they would earn an additional six percent because they have these other um, coins deposited in the system um, which will incentivize many users to host nodes also and aside from just being on a raspberry pi because the Binance chain could run on a Raspberry Pi, the Raspberry Pi can sit inside a router, modified. This is a modified router with a built-in uh, Raspberry Pi. Upon boot, turning on the router, it will automatically connect the Raspberry Pi online because all routers will be online and it will be wired on the inside and upon turning on the router you're actually supporting the Binance Chain DEX and in return you will be staking or uh, earning fees from it and that is 
my quick demo of what I have. Uh, I have written up a lot of this um, concept. And any questions, you could message me for maybe you could get a personal demo. So uh, we might not be able to see the screen, but but this is a rough idea of what I have.